Good afternoon, everybody. This is Heath Phelps with Texas Pressure Washing Store. We're going to talk about a high flow mixer and a remote system. These are pretty simple to plumb, but I'm going to walk you through it. So what you have over here is your three quarter inch bypass line connection. And out here is your output that goes to your pump. That is a one inch connection. And on an AR45, it would be a one inch and one quarter connection. And we can change those out and we can show you how to do that. So here you have your water connection. It's a one inch with a check valve one inch ball valve. Then you have the metering valve. This is an Asahi valve. It's a one inch with your check valve. And then you have another one inch valve with a check valve right there. Actually, and your soap check valve is down here. It's a smaller check valve. So you got your one inch connection here, your quarter inch connection here, and your one inch connection here for your water. Over here, you have your remote system. So this is simple, but it can confuse people when they get it. So the way this works is your water comes in here, so you're gonna tee your water right about here. You're gonna tee your water. And you're gonna put one of the connections here. And then you're gonna bring your SH line from your tanks into here. And then this hose is gonna to connect to here, to your SH line. The reason you do that is the way this remote system works is when it's flashing, you're pulling SH from this side. And when it's off, you're rinsing and you're pulling water from this side. So water flushes the valve and flushes your chemical system which is what you want. And then also there's another solenoid wired, in, wired into this, and this is a smaller solenoid that turns on and off your soap. So your soap and your SH will also be turned off at the same time. And so that's what you want. And the way this all works is you got water to here, you got SH to here, you got this connected to this one, you've got this running to your pump, you've got power running to this with your cables and your remotes. You got your soap connected here, coming out here, connected here, and then another, like I said, water line coming in here, and then your bypass line, we run 25 foot of three quarter inch bypass, and you run it back to your pump. And we're gonna step over there and see those pumps. This is a Comet P40. Right here, you have your uh, regulator and your bypass. As you can see on top, you can lower and raise the pressure by spinning this right here. You can also put it in bypass like this, or and run and right there it says off and on so off means you're in bypass on means you're in run and then you have your bypass line so these come standard half inch you can convert them to three quarter inch or you can run a half inch line you just get more cooling power by doing that here is your inlet to the pump here is your outlet to the reel which is three quarter inch one inch in this is on a Comet P40. This is your oil. This is your gearbox. And one of the common things that happens from Comet is they will send you overfilled oil, which is what we have here. So we gotta drain that. There's likely too much oil in there. We gotta pull it out and then let it settle. That's something you need to look at because if you have too much in there, it'll find ways to leak out, which is very annoying and very messy. Gearbox can also be overfilled too. That has an elbow in it. There's really not a good way to, to prevent that, but if you see it leaking out the cap, then you need to try and pull some out. Here we have an AR45 that is plumbed and we use PEX plumbing one inch out here. We convert it from a half inch to three quarter inch to one inch. And then we have three quarter inch line uh, running over there to the side of the truck for the buffer or see the bypass line on the air 45 also has the pressure adjustment on top which you can see if you turn it counterclockwise you turn the pressure down if you turn it clockwise you turn the pressure up bypass right here so it's got actually word bypass on it so you turn it there you're in bypass you turn it here you're in run and then you got your one and a quarter inch line running back to the system and you got your pressure gauge. Our goal is to always operate around 180 PSI on the gauge when we're on the trigger. When we're off the trigger, you never go above 250. One of the biggest things, I've talked about this over and over with these systems, is you have to start and stop them either on the trigger or in bypass mode. Uh, if you do not, you'll create a pressure spike, which can be a very big problem. One of the nice things about ARs is they typically don't come too full of oil, which is nice, neither do the gearboxes. I do like these gearboxes a little better, even though they're not as compact. On both systems, you'll see that we've braced both of the pumps to reduce vibration. You don't want all your hoses bouncing around. There is weak points on this. 
we lock tight these locking pins and we lock wire them. Lock wire, since we started lock wiring, we do it on our customers and our own rigs. We do not have any issues with them popping out or working loose. If you don't have lock wire, at a bare minimum, put a good configuration of zip ties on it to make it sure that if it does pop work loose, it doesn't fly out and go all over the place and then you're down because you don't have a pin.